All right, Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. Kevin Hart, Raji. Hey. How y'all doing? Great. First, I got to say, uh, I don't know if it is your birthday. I know it's around your birthday because I know we partied in Toronto at TIFF. And that's right, Keep this season. Reminding yes, my birthday, 9-11. Okay. And the job that you gave me does not count as a gift. Okay. I had to work for that. Okay. <laughs> I gotta start with you, Kevin, because uh, I mean, you got you got cool nickname of this chicken, and I, I've always just known you as Kevin Hart. But did you ever have like a nickname that we don't know about that when you was growing up, or did something else? No, I mean, I've been silly, just acting like I have, but I've never had a real nickname that stuck. It's always been Kevin. And then as I got older, the nicknames kind of came into play, but not as a kid. My mom, my mom wasn't that type of mom. My dad wasn't probably jackass. <laughs> Uh, something you know, something, something in that light. Nothing else. Yeah, nothing else. Uh, I got the vision. Ain't nobody gonna see the way I see it. All I need from you is Frank's blessing and his Rolodex. I got all the rest. Your man E. Now who's gonna be footing the bill? Cause it ain't gonna be Frank. Okay, slow down now. You're going way too fast. Look, I, I told you I'm a professional. I got the bread. The bread ain't never been the problem. All I need is my investment back in another, what? Five percent. Another five percent, yeah. You on. But you f***ed this up, and I can't protect you. Got it. <laughs> Thank you. But, uh, I, well, 1970s to me is... When you think of when anytime someone says the 70s to me, I go straight to the fashion because it was all about the fashion. That's where we got the bell bottoms, you, the fly denim suits, you know, um, uh, the, the Stacey Adams, the, the, you know, the pimp canes and the hats. And, the, you know, it was just a, that time. And every time I hear a 70s or every time I get to portray the 70s, I'm quite excited. Yeah. Yeah. This is the second the time. Fashion. Kevin, this is the second time you've done like these these limited series, and we really see. I mean, because we've seen you in, I think, like a man, we've seen y'all together and everything else. But but to see you in these limited series, we really get to see like this other part of your your acting chops, and I I, I feel like it just expands to see your character played out over a, a couple of episodes and everything. Um, how do you feel as a thespian in this space? Do you feel like you like you hitting your groove when you get that that long period to to play out and 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 why you know uh, stretch out a character. No, I feel like you know with anything, the more uh, the more you get to do it, the more you improve. And I just think I haven't had um, you know the material to be as consistent in this space that I would want to. And I think now the discovery and search behind that material is different. Um, the team that I have at Heartbeat and the relationships that I have in other producing partners and studios uh, is getting better at just finding the things that we feel can best position me to do this type of thing. Um, and you know, as we find it, then I think more opportunities will come and present Absolutely. themselves. So it's not a rush to do so much and do so much fast. It's about finding the right things um, to help you to help you do it at a high level. And I think for me, in this case, it doesn't get better, right? The Fight Night story, the alignment of star power legends that we were able to, to gravitate towards and work with, um, it all checks the box of of now, of premium, of uh, unbelievable cultural storytelling at the highest level. So hopefully this blueprint can be one of, of search and find that we're able to continue um, throughout the rest of my career. Now what you say your name was again? Lisa? Lena. And what your people say? East Point and yours? I got people everywhere. Okay, if y'all done wasting time, I found us a way out of here. Okay, and how is that? The attic don't lead to the street, lead to the side of the house. One of us get free, go get help. Okay, simple. I will do it. Yeah, all that behind ain't gonna fit up through that little... Uh, uh, look, I'll do it. Plus, I know the neighbor. East Point, what about you? All right. Let's do it. I mean, because for me as a fan, you like, I had just a trial... Peacock just to get through Fresh Prince, but well, now I'm paying for the I, I, I'm paying for Peacock now 
because I'm about to watch Fight Night again. I got to show my friends on the big screen. Like, you know, I can't show them on the screen. But this this has been like such a pleasure for me to watch you guys on screen and play these characters and see Taraji doing her little shaking thing and all that stuff. Oh, it was my like, shaking thing? I mean, you, you, you. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, so, I'm rolling my eyes at Kevin because when he <laughs> brought me this project, he never told me about that scene. The pink pages. The pink pages. He never told me about that scene. The pink pages. You didn't get the pink pages. <laughs> But, hey, man, I love you guys. Happy birthday again, Taraji, man. Thank y'all Thank for having you. me. I really appreciate Thank you, the time. Man. Thank you oh, so Thank much. You.